Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. Embarking on a journey to the past to recount the life story of an enigmatic figure, known to the world as James Bond. The year was 1920 when Bond was born in Wattenscheid, Germany, to a British father and a Swiss mother. He was the only child of his parents, which perhaps fostered in him an early sense of self-reliance and independence. The family moved to Britain when Bond was just five, and there began his introduction to the British way of life. His father, a bank manager, was a stern man with a military background. His mother, on the other hand, was gentle and kind, often reading to Bond stories of great adventurers and explorers which captivated his young mind. As a child, Bond was curious and adventurous. He would often be found exploring the woods near his house, or reading books about spies and detectives. His fascination with espionage was evident even at this early age. It was as if he was being prepared for his future without even knowing it. In 1936, tragedy struck the Bond family when Bond's parents died in a mountain climbing accident. The sudden loss was traumatic for the young boy, who was sent to live with his aunt in a small village in Scotland. It was here in the rugged, remote highlands that Bond began to toughen up, becoming more resilient and resourceful. His school years were spent at Eton College, where he excelled in sports and academics. Bond was a natural leader, charming and confident. He was also a risk-taker, often getting into trouble for his daring escapades. But these experiences only honed his skills, shaping him into a man of action. After graduating from Eton, Bond went on to attend Cambridge University. He studied Oriental languages, demonstrating an aptitude for linguistics that would later become invaluable in his espionage career. During his time at Cambridge, Bond also developed a deep appreciation for fine food and drink, along with an uncanny ability to charm the ladies. As World War II loomed, Bond felt a strong sense of duty to serve his country. He enlisted in the Royal Navy, where his leadership skills and ability to stay calm under pressure quickly saw him rise through the ranks. It was during his service that he first came into contact with the world of intelligence and espionage. His time in the Navy introduced him to the harsh realities of war. Bond was involved in numerous covert operations, each one dangerous and unpredictable. These experiences hardened him, but also gave him an intimate understanding of the world's darker undercurrents. He became aware of the gray areas in morality and the lengths one must go to protect their country. After the war, Bond was recruited by the Secret Intelligence Service, better known as MI6. His exceptional performance in the Navy and his proficiency in languages made him an ideal candidate for the intelligence service. His training was rigorous, involving both physical and mental conditioning. He was trained in everything from martial arts to cryptography, from seduction techniques to survival skills. His first assignment as a field agent for MI6 took him to Cold War-era Russia, where he was tasked with extracting a defecting scientist. This operation tested Bond's skills to the limit. He had to navigate a complex web of KGB agents, navigate the treacherous political landscape, and ensure the safety of the defector. It was a trial by fire, but Bond emerged victorious, securing his reputation as a top agent. Over the years, Bond undertook numerous missions across the globe, from the Middle East to Africa, from South America to Asia. Each mission was unique and came with its own set of challenges. Despite the high stakes and constant danger, Bond was unflappable, always managing to maintain his cool under pressure. His professionalism and commitment to the job didn't go unnoticed. His superiors valued his dedication and skill, and he quickly climbed the ranks, eventually earning the title of OO, a designation given to the most trusted and capable agents. The double, zero, indicated his license to kill, a responsibility that Bond never took lightly. Despite his success as an agent, Bond's personal life was often fraught with tragedy. He fell deeply in love with a woman named Vesper Lind, a treasury agent who he met during a high-stakes mission. They shared a brief but intense love affair, only for Vesper to tragically die, leaving Bond devastated. The loss of Vesper was a turning point for Bond. It hardened him making him even more focused on his work. But it also instilled in him a deep-seated mistrust of emotional attachments. From then on, he was known to have many romantic liaisons, but he never let anyone get too close. The world of espionage is one of constant danger and uncertainty, and Bond had many near-death experiences. Yet, he always managed to escape by the skin of his teeth, often using his quick thinking and resourcefulness. 
His ability to stay calm and composed in the face of danger was perhaps his greatest asset. Despite the perilous nature of his job, Bond never lost his taste for the finer things in life. He was known for his impeccable taste in fashion, often seen in a tailored suit. He had a penchant for luxury cars, fine wines, and gourmet meals. His appreciation for the finer things, however, never interfered with his work. Bond's reputation grew with each successful mission. He became something of a legend within MI6 and beyond. His name became synonymous with the world of espionage. But with fame came enemies. Over the years, he had made numerous foes, many of whom sought revenge. One of Bond's most formidable adversaries was a man named Ernst Stavro Blofeld, the head of an international criminal organization called Spectre. Blofeld was a mastermind of evil, always plotting to create chaos and destruction. Bond and Blofeld's confrontations were epic battles of wits and wills. Despite the constant danger and stress, Bond never contemplated leaving the service. He was deeply committed to his country and was willing to risk his life to protect it. He saw his work as a necessary evil, a way to maintain peace and stability in a volatile world. As the years passed, Bond began to feel the toll of his dangerous lifestyle. He had suffered numerous injuries, both physical and psychological. Yet, he never let these setbacks deter him. He remained committed to his mission, always ready to face whatever challenge came his way. Bond's legacy in the world of espionage is unparalleled. His adventures have been the subject of numerous books and films, capturing the imagination of millions around the world. Despite the embellishments of Hollywood, the real James Bond was far more complex and interesting than any fictional portrayal could ever capture. In his later years, Bond retired from active service but continued to work as a consultant for MI6. His experience and wisdom were invaluable to the agency. He used his retirement to enjoy the finer things in life, but always remained connected to the world of espionage. His love life, however, remained a source of intrigue and speculation. Despite his many romantic entanglements, Bond never remarried. He remained a bachelor, perhaps a testament to his enduring love for Vesper, or perhaps a sign of his commitment to a life filled with danger and uncertainty. Even in retirement, Bond kept himself in peak physical condition. He continued his rigorous exercise regime and maintained a healthy lifestyle. He understood that in his line of work, physical fitness was not just about vanity but a matter of survival. Bond's legacy in the intelligence community is unquestioned. His dedication, skills, and accomplishments have inspired many who followed in his footsteps. His name is often invoked as the gold standard in the world of espionage. Despite his reputation and successes, Bond remained a private man. He was not one for the spotlight, preferring to let his actions speak for themselves. This discreet nature extended to his personal life as well. He was fiercely protective of his privacy, a trait that was respected by those who knew him. In his twilight years, Bond developed an interest in writing. He began documenting his experiences, not for public consumption, but as a personal record of his extraordinary life. These memoirs provided a fascinating insight into the mind of one of the world's greatest spies. Bond's final years were spent in relative peace and tranquility. He lived in a secluded cottage in the Scottish Highlands, far from the hustle and bustle of city life. Despite the tranquility, he remained ever vigilant, always aware that danger could be lurking around any corner. In the end, James Bond passed away peacefully in his sleep. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy lived on. He left behind a world that was safer and more secure because of his efforts. Bond's funeral was a private affair, attended only by his closest friends and colleagues. It was a fitting tribute to a man who had dedicated his life to serving his country, away from the public eye. His gravestone was simple and unassuming, much like the man himself. In death, as in life, James Bond remained a figure of intrigue and admiration. His story continues to inspire, a testament to his courage, resilience, and dedication. He lived his life on his own terms, always ready to face whatever came his way. As a time traveler, I have witnessed many lives, but few as fascinating as James Bond's. His was a life of action and adventure, filled with danger and intrigue but it was also a life of sacrifice and service. He was a man who put his country before himself, who faced danger with courage and determination. His story serves as a reminder of the complexity of the human experience. It's a story of triumph and tragedy, love and loss, duty and sacrifice.
It's a story that transcends time and space, resonating with people across generations. James Bond was not just a spy. He was a symbol of resilience and determination. He was a man who faced adversity with courage and grace. He was a man who lived by his own rules, who refused to be defined by the expectations of others. His life was a testament to the power of the human spirit, to the ability to overcome challenges and emerge stronger. His story is a source of inspiration, a beacon of hope in a world often filled with uncertainty and fear. As I recount Bond's life, I am reminded of the enduring power of the human spirit. His story is a testament to the power of determination, resilience, and courage. It's a story that continues to inspire, to captivate, and to intrigue. Until we meet again, farewell.